Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ice Ice Outpost. Oh, and the gorgeous frozen tundra. We're here in the mountains to the north of Shepherd's Nook. Our family of Arctic wolves continues to roam their little mountain valley. And this is Blizzard, the older sister of our current wolf pups and the daughter, the first daughter of Winter, who is currently roaming along the cliff sides and perhaps scouting out and just making sure everything is going to be okay for her younger siblings. I can't believe she's already seven years old like that's actually a little bit hard to wrap my head around because her mother let's come over and check out her mom because her mom winter is our alpha female <gasps> did you see the leap blizzard just did there that was amazing you guys oh my gosh oh dear and multiple animals have low welfare okay we're gonna have to check in on that in just a second but i wanted where on earth oh look everybody's hanging out in the den over here Oh, this is so cute. I can't wait to add in more stalactites and stalagmites. Look at everybody sleeping. Winter's already 14, you guys. I can't believe that. I wonder which of her daughters is going to end up becoming the alpha female. We might have to go ahead and let them fight it out amongst them when the time comes. Oh, hang on, hang on. I gotta back up. I, I, need, I need to appreciate that gorgeous view we just had. Ah, I keep getting out of there. No, 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 I want into the mountain down here with the wolf pup and our beautiful wolf look at that can you believe this is a world that we have created and this is a world where we can watch all of these families of animals and of course the human oh did you see that big jump and of course the human families that we have in shepherd's nook and soon in other villages as well to prosper because this is this is just amazing i love the ice I love this waterfall. We might have to make a few more icy waterfalls for sure. Uh, but all right, let's go ahead and see what all of this low animal welfare is about. Oh dear. And the spring buck are extremely stressed. <gasps> and we can fix that. We can actually fix that for them. They no longer have to be exposed to the prying eyes of all of the people coming by to, you know, come and be tourists of Shepherd's Nook. We can actually start putting up the habitat fencing so that there should just be like one way. Yes, one way glass. So we can start trying to install that somehow over here. Um, hmm. Somehow I thought I could just put it up. Oh dear, huh. Oh, spring rock, you might say. I wonder how I can, I guess I won't be able just to line it up along the path. That's, that's actually what I was thinking about doing. Uh, multiple animals. <gasps> Abby's stocking knitting shed. Oh dear. Okay, we have a lot that's currently going on. I think that the Goliath beetles inside of Abby's stocking knitting shed are beginning to die in mass. Um, that's not good. That's not good. Oh dear. All right, there's too many of them. Okay, let's go ahead and just grab a ton of them. This is terrible. This is absolute. This is just a travesty. Oh my gosh, how many are there? I'm just gonna leave a few girls because we don't need this many. We don't need this many. Send them all to the trade center. Oh geez. Okay, immediately everything has become better for all of the remaining uh, little little beetles that help her out with the knitting. All right, let's go ahead and my gosh. Come on everybody. I didn't know we were breeding beetles in the stockings so quickly back there. How many was that? Let's see, 18, so we had 18 beetles. Eh, that's a, you know, $1,000, not bad. Uh, and how are things going for our iguana? Do we have an iguana still? Yes, we do, we still have uh, Javier. Oh, glorious, look at him. He looks like he's quite content, despite the fact that he currently lives in the tundra. Excellent. All right, any other Beth's prized goats? The spring brock are no longer stressed out, but we do have a couple goats aka spring rock who will fight for status now that they're an adult all right come here koika are you trying to fight with deka no you're a male and female koika is a male billy goat billy goat here is the alpha and he is not going to put up with this nonsense from another goat so let's see koika you're actually really healthy his dad is billy goat his mom is deka um, I guess 
I don't want them to fight, but they're not fighting just yet. I guess we'll go ahead. Should I release this billy goat? We'll go ahead and release this billy goat to the wild for now. Because there's so many albino <laughs> spring brock, aka goats, available on the animal market. Uh, Alright, but where to next? We have a lot to do, and I do want to start adding in new animals. I want to have our snow leopard come in. I want to be able to come over and add a grizzly bear. I want to have the tracks that people can go through to see the big herds of reindeer that somehow we still don't have. Uh, and there's just a lot of little details that seem to be going wrong with our, our entire area right now that are causing us to lose a lot of money. So I think we need to take a day to kind of snack on the new picnic that we made. By the way, these tables can be changed color. So let's go ahead and change them to like some icy colors to reflect. Look at that. I figured that out the other like night when I was messing around in sandbox mode to try to teach myself more of what to do in Planet Zoo. Look at that. But just like that, you can change the colors and you can even set it so that like the most recent colors you messed with are the first colors that pop up, which makes it a lot easier when you just want to apply the same design to something, if you don't want to just like copy it. All right, let's see. We'll do that, this one, and this one. Oh, I think I messed it up. Oh, well, it can be slightly different. You know, each one is hand woven by the different quilters and weavers of our village. Oh, that's so nice. I really like that look. Oh, I can even change the color of the canopy. That's charming. We can do just a nice little light blue to really make you feel like you're just here appreciating the beautiful tundra wilderness. And in fact, I think you could appreciate the beautiful tundra wilderness even more with some flowers, if you ask me. Uh, let's see. Biome, taiga, and tundra. And why not? Why not just sneak in here? What kind of flowers can I pick from? Go away, blueprints. I swear, those those blueprints get in the way a little bit too much, in my opinion. Oh, this! The Labrador Tees! Oh, this is perfect. I think we should put down... Oh, I heard the wolf pups just howling. A couple Labrador Tees and maybe some of these little dwarf plants. Let me get a few of them in place. Oh, that's lovely! I love that. Let's copy that whole thing and put it down in a couple spots. There we go. Just some nice... Ooh, we can even put it in for the sheep. So he doesn't have to be all by his lonesome. Every good sheep needs some plants to be able to look at. Alright, we'll kind of slide these over here. Over here. Well, it does look weird when you put it through fencing like that, so we'll rotate this a little. Oh, I love it. Anything that is an excuse to add more plants, I'm gonna love, though. Very nice. Alright, well, like I said, we have <clears throat> very important things to do. And, of course, I totally didn't mean important as in grabbing a bunch of flowers and becoming distracted by said flowers. I, I totally meant there, there are other matters at hand that we should absolutely be focusing on. <laughs> uh, just a couple more. Just like a nice little one back there. I mean, isn't that charming? And then like a nice little Labrador tea or two back here. It'll make people happier because we need- oh, we are losing money actually. Because <laughs> we- what? Who's escaped? Moose! Moose the second climbed his way out, but he has since returned. So that's really funny. Moose the second temporarily ran away. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna go become a, a rough and tough wild wolf pup. Nobody can contain him. Gosh, that's adorable. Oh, that reminds me, we haven't actually added in the uh, ice columns for these wolf pups. And when we add in the ice columns, I think I wanna come in and like make a bit of a, like expand the cave or expand where the ice goes. That could be kind of cool. Like as the pack grows, so does their glacier. So what are the two wolf pups named over here? We have Moose the second and we have Arrow. Look at all of them. They're investigating the blood scent in here. Thinking about doing some hunting, are you? Let's see. Yeah, Moose the second and Arrow are the two wolf pups we have. 
So let's come over and actually get a couple. Christmas joy is about to mate. Excellent, we'll have more babies. Hmm. And then we'll go ahead and have, how, what, do I, what do I call these things? Christmas joy is now expecting offspring, yay! Whoops, I did not mean to. I wanted to copy this and then paste this name. And this is actually generation three, and this is going to be Moose the second. There we go. And then over here, we're gonna have generation three, and this is gonna be Arrow. Which I think is, whoops, such a lovely name. I really do need to come in and figure out like how, here, we'll just do this for now. how to be able to expand the ice. And then we'll grab this. Oh, that's a huge chunk. Did not mean to grab that gigantic chunk, but maybe this will work too. I mean, it kind of does. Nice. <laughs> okay. Moose, we sort of majorly expanded the glacier cave with you. And I love how we put the lights at the back. So it's just kind of like a little sparkling area. I wish it was better lit, but we'll work on that in the future too. All right. Well, enough of like in the future, in the future, we're losing money right now. And I think it's actually coming from cash flow, ongoing expenses, staff wages, animal food, running cost, scenery cost, income. Do we have any ticket sales. Did they temporarily take away like refunds? Okay, there's a few refunds going through. It's mostly staff wages and animal food. So we need to start getting more money from the people then. And the best way to get more money is to get them to fork, fork over those don donations. And the best way to get them to fork over donations is to make sure that they are extremely educated about the animals that they're going like for. Moose the second. You are my newest of the troublesome wolf pups, aren't you? He sure is. Every generation of wolf pups we have, there has to be at least one who has to go further where no wolf has ever roamed before and cause trouble. There we go. That should prevent it. All right, so we need to think about what how to make people happier then. So guest, what to say you? I didn't come here to see the staff facilities. <gasps> Christmas joy is about to have offspring. Uh, all oh, people are walking past our little lumberjack kitchen and shed and the shepherd gentleman seed hut. Oh no, that's why they're so cranky. Cause that's entirely, they're literally, oh no. Oh no. Somebody broke this. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Look, you can see like everywhere people are upset cause things have been knocked down. There's a whole bunch of litter over here. Oh my. Okay, so we need to make people happier. And apparently they're just really mad because they have to walk past the seed hut. We can fix that. Also, Christmas Joy has just had her offspring. Congratulations, Christmas Joy. Did you just have twins? Maybe? Let's see. That's Wadsworth, what a name. Christmas Joy, who did you just have? She made it with Stitch. She has three children. Mistletoe and Christmas Joy the second are also pregnant. She's about to be a grandmother and she gave birth to Wadsworth. <gasps> that is one of the most precious names, you guys. I absolutely love it. But we are going to go ahead and change the name to Nightlight after some of you guys who have left comments down below and you can continue to leave comments to be named after so many of the animals or like have the animals named after you because we are going to be adding in a lot more animals now that like I'm realizing we need to and we're losing money and I have a fun idea about something we're actually going to add in to the garden behind the new cabin we built for everybody to like all of the staff slash villagers to live in uh, but all right so this is going to be Nightlight so welcome little nightlight son of christmas joy i think that that is absolutely precious and he can go he, look at him look at how healthy he is he's gonna live forever he's extremely fertile he's got great immunity this is fantastic i'm really proud of him and if he doesn't end up being one of the ones we end up like having an, his own little herd for we can go ahead and we can give him over to the bachelor section where he can come and he can hang out with wings 
Nice. Also, I think this water is filthy, so I need to clean that too, but oh geez. All right, let's take care of our first and biggest problem that we currently have of everybody walking past this staff hut. Um, fastest way to solve this is that we're just going to go ahead and move the seed hut over here. I think Gentleman is feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all of the people anyway. Because this is, this is a lot of people suddenly just sneaking up on his home and he doesn't know how he feels about this. So we're going to go ahead... Put his path down here. People need a... Oh, can't find an accessible staff room with space. Uh, well, hey! Animals will fight due to incorrect sex ratio. The spring rock... We'll work on that, goats. Patience. Mistletoe is about to have offspring. That's all wonderful. But let's try getting a large... Let's see. Another large staff center. We have one right here, but it's kind of a long walk from this one. But this is where we're going to put the snow leopard. Hmm. Hmm. Should I have like, no, I don't, I don't really want to have one right here because. All right, we're going to have to, we're going to, is it still inaccessible? Ooh, vet research is done. We have so much going on, you guys. And we need more animals. We absolutely need more animals because both the quilters don't have anything to research. Uh, yes! The mechanics have researched all of the new world theme and the drink shops. Oh, geez. There's just so much happening, I can hardly keep up. Uh, let's go ahead and do India theme and classic theme. Did we already do food? We did already do food. Y Yay! All right, guys, we're having a good time. Everybody is researching very quickly. We have too many spring rock now. So we're going to have to come and make some decisions. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab these three. Who's not related to security goat? Like Billy Goat. We'll definitely go ahead and we will release Dwadi to the wild. There we go. And then Billy Goat. Oh, Abriana, the doll sheep's about to die of old age. Oh, no. Abriana, don't worry. Your quilt is going to be right over here. Oh, she has died. Oh, Abriana. Oh, oh, she was 18.2 years old. Okay, she lived to a long age, guys. We shouldn't be too sad about that, but I'm going to go ahead and grab this quilt. We'll add it to our little quilting memoriam. Which I think is a really, really sweet way to mem like memorialize all of our animals. There we go. Let me tilt it over here. And there. All right. And this will be Abriana. Abriana's quilt. There we go. All right. But I need to start making some progress because <laughs> who's in this? Get out of there, Vixen. Because we really do need to make our guests happier and, and get more going on here. Staff are having to queue to use the facility for the workshop, huh? There are plenty of workshops. I'm pretty sure we have like two workshops over here. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of people researching a lot of things. Well, they're just going to have to be patient for a minute. Um, gosh. <laughs> All right, we put the seed hut to the side. I definitely need to fix it. My goodness, I am sorry. I am so distracted, you guys. Clearly, it's just because there is so much going on. And there's just so many options for... There we go. For what we could be doing right now. Let's actually hide the staff facilities. That's a good idea, I think. Because we sort of started off with everybody complaining because they could see the staff facilities. And I think that the... That's actually a good idea. We'll do trees for a minute because I love trees. And I think that Gnu has actually gotten a little shy because everybody was like staring at his seed hut. So we'll go ahead and hide the gentleman's seed hut behind some nice trees. Because see, our staff know not only about being able to cut down all of these trees, but being able to grow some new ones too. So they can start clustering them around We'll do that for just a minute. We haven't planted trees in quite a gosh darn while. So this makes me very happy. 
There, like, yeah, we'll get a little forest going. Up along the slopes. Down here, we can even like push these trees down a little further. That'll give Wings something to look at for sure. There you go, Wings. Oh, that's very nice. It's about time we had some trees around this place. We could even add a few more of them in, in little patches. There we go. Maybe we can even, yeah, people can kind of walk through. If they want to come this direction, they get to walk through sort of this little pine forest. That's much nicer. Now they should not complain nearly as much about like seeing staff facilities or anything silly like that. All right, we'll put that there. Yay, and Christmas Joy has had her offspring. All right, Christmas Joy, let me go ahead and pick another one of your guys' names from the random name generator. And Christmas Joy has just had little baby Zoe, who we are gonna rename in just a second after one of you guys. And Zoe actually doesn't have very good immunity, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, and this is actually going to be, uh, instead of Zoe, we're gonna rename her to Snow Cone, which I freaking love. Actually, that's a wolf name suggestion from Jamie. So you know what, Jamie? I'm gonna go ahead and name you. Oh, Jammy! <gasps> Jammy's even cuter! It's like she's a little Christmas jam! I'm gonna name her Christmas Jam! That's adorable! All right, so we have Christmas Jam. She is not very healthy, unfortunately. So I think she has like some family that was interrelated. That was, that was not done intentionally. All right, and I will do my best to save those names because Snow Cone sounds like an adorable name for a wolf pup, doesn't it? But you know what? Let's spend the rest of today having the lumberjacks actually replant some of the forest because I have been saying we were going to do that for ages and it's about time we actually took ourselves seriously. No pun intended because my name's Siri. All right. Meanwhile, the Goliath beetles apparently did not have very long to live. Sorry, Abby. We will replace them sometime soon. Uh, oh geez, I think we just lost all the goliath beetles. Oh my gosh! I am 99% sure we just lost all of the goliath beetles. Um, but let's make this forest back here. Ooh, look at this. This is more like it. I really wanted to create... Like a thick, beautiful forest. Over here. And what we're gonna add in... We'll put down some big boulders and some rocks. We'll even push inwards over here to make a cave. And we're gonna add a grizzly bear that can roam the forest. We still need to put a polar bear over on the other side to celebrate the Arctic pack. But this entire village has become much more organic in how we build it than I expected. So we haven't had the polar bear just yet, but we'll get there. All right, let's go ahead and Move this down and back. There we go. Oh, what a pretty little forest. I have been meaning to have more forest for quite a while, so... Whoops, that's too much. We're still, unfortunately, losing money. So we are going to have to take the money thing pretty seriously next time, I'm feeling. But we can have the lumberjacks go ahead and start restoring the forest. <laughs> For now. All right, let's see. Can I get, ooh, I can get some more over here. We don't need to grab quite that huge a chunk at the same time. There we go. And we'll have fun getting them to like be able to drive through here on their little sleds slash Jeeps. And I am still thinking, in fact, I am thinking that we should actually put maybe Maybe over here somewhere? Um, that actually might be a good idea. Ooh, now I'm tempted. Snow leopard or timber wolves? Hmm. We might actually do timber wolves over here instead of a snow leopard, friends. Because even though we already have wolves, the timber wolves, we would actually say, were sled dogs. And I think that'd be really fun. Also, look at how much better this looks with trees. <gasps> Glory be to our good lumberjacks who put back what they take from the forest. All right, speaking of forest, uh, probably should go ahead and like, oh, there's just so many beautiful trees. One last, one last patch of trees. All right, there we go. 
we'll have a good time like playing with these guys and figuring out where they should go. There. Ah. <sighs> All right. Next time, figuring out how to stop this from being such a complete, uh, terrifying loss of money, and uh, getting more out of our guests and making sure that they are yay, they're starting to become a little happier. That they are happier, more educated, and more prone to spending their money next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for all of our prized goats. <laughs> and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.